Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Today we'll be taking another example on motion. It says a body starts from rest and has a rate at three meter per second square. Now our first word we have here a a is equal to what three meter per second square. Out together for four seconds. My T1 is equal to what? 4 seconds. It remains constant at the maximum value, so reach 7 seconds. So my T2 is equal to what? 7 seconds. It finally comes to rest uniformly. So since it's coming to rest, at uniform retardation, right? After another five seconds. Is that the key now? So T3 is equal to what? Five seconds. Find with graphical method. One thing you need to know that since starting from rest, our U1 is equal to what? Zero. Right? Then we don't know our V1. Is that a king? Our U1 is 0, we don't know our V1. Now, the same thing, our U, our A2, or oh, let's not even go there. Since it's telling us we should use a graphical method, you draw your velocity time graph. And this is V, and we have our T. Is that a king? So it says the body starts from rest. You start from the zero point here. It moves up. Right? At accelerate at three meters per second. For how many seconds? For three for um accelerate for four seconds. Yes. Now it maintain it for another seven seconds maintain it for another seven seconds seven plus four that is uh, eleven seconds it finally comes to rest with uniform tradition after another five seconds it comes to rest for what another five seconds five plus eleven that will be what sixteen seconds this is our time in seconds right now we are not say they not said find the graphical meter which we are doing the distance move during each stage so the, st the each stage is for the first four seconds for the next seven seconds and for the next five seconds so we have stage a stage b and stage c is that the key so you can now i converted my acceleration into velocity since it's a velocity time graph right so i said v is equal to u plus a t we know our V, that's what we are looking for, it, the final velocity when the body is accelerating at 3 meters per second. And that is what? 3. So I, whenever I see my A, I place my 3 and my T is what? It's 4. So I got my V, final velocity to be what? So at 12 meters per second, right? The body accelerates for 4 seconds. Is that the key now? So we've gotten it. So at this highest level here, our velocity is what? 12 seconds. So we'll take for stage A. Stage A. At stage A, you see that we're having something like this. Like a triangle. So from here to here is 4 seconds. And the height here is what? 12 meter per second right so since it's a triangle the area of a triangle is what half base times height right so that means the area we're talking will be the distance the distance of a stage a is equal to what half the base here is what is the time axis so we call it half t times the height here is the velocity axis times v. So this will now give me 1 over 2 times 4 times what? 12. 
and my S, the distance at stage A will be 24 meters. So that's for stage A. Are we good? So for stage B, for stage B, for stage B, we have something like this in stage B, like a rectangle. Look at it here. A rectangle. That again for B. So from here to here is 7, and the height here is what? Still maintaining the 12. So the area of um, of the rectangle is length times breadth. So at stage B, my area, my length is the time axis, which is T, times the breadth, which is what? The V. So this will give me uh, 7 times 12, and that will give me 84 meter. That's for stage B. At stage C, stage C is also a triangle. We see something like this, right? So distance between from here to here, the time interval here is what five, and the height is still twelve. So we use my SC to be equal to what half times T times V, base times height. The base is the time, and this just like I said the earlier in the earlier example there so this will give me 1 over 2 times 5 times 12 and that will give me 30 meter so my SB SC is equal to what 30 meter